So we're just under a house here in Dulwich Hill, Sydney. And you can see the amount of deterioration we have here in the bricks. The mortar's just coming out and you can see how much is gathered on the ground here. All right, it's quite a lot of mortar which is coming out of those joints. You can see here, it's just uh, the salts have gotten to the stage where the mortar is just, it's, it's basically just powder everywhere. These bricks don't have anything supporting them. Okay, there's maybe a minimum amount of, of, of mortar in there still supporting them. You can see the degree of deterioration that's happened in here, right? Okay, so, yeah, uh, look at this. That's all your mortar which is deteriorating, okay? So, um, putting, putting these fans in here, it, it stops your moisture underneath the house here, making your house smell, and it stops your mould. <clears throat> slows it down at least but if you've got rising damp with salt in it uh, it, it dries out the bricks and it pulls up more water through the bricks because they're drying out it's like osmosis or entropy or something like that it balances out so it equalizes and as the as the water comes up it brings more salt up and it's being dried faster the salts crystallize and it just busts apart the inside of the the mortar joints, you know, like that. Um, and these walls need to be totally re repointed. On the outside of this wall, the wall's actually bowed outwards, so it's falling apart, literally. Um, it's not just the mortar that's going, everything's just, you can see across here, the whole front wall of the house is just missing mortar from it. It's a major issue, okay. So these fans are actually speeding that up. You can see it's just, let's see if we can find something to pull that out of there. All right, you can see this. It goes in, you know, 25 millimeters. This one, look how deep that goes all the way in. I put my thumb on the end of that and that's how long it is. So that's how I deteriorated on this end. The whole front part of the house here has, has got it. It's just a, <clears throat> it's a, it's a major issue. All right, you can probably move some of these bricks here. I wouldn't doubt you could pull some of them out. You can see that's not even in line anymore. It's, it's got a ledge there, it's just dropped. Okay, so you really need to be careful when you start dealing with rising damp. Uh, putting fans in is not the solution for rising damp. Look at all this dust on here on the ground. Look, this just like that's all from your mortar. And you can see here these bricks are just they're just about to fall out. Okay. We've got the old damp course there. Even above the old damp course we've got deterioration happening. So the damp course has failed, obviously. It's an old bitumen. You can see it's just just crumbling, all right. So, uh, if we go across here, this is the common wall with the neighbor. And the common wall is the same. It's just massive damage, right? It's a big job to do this. That wouldn't shock me if the neighbor has the same problem. Uh, you can see the, the dust on the ground there from the mortar it runs the whole length of the wall. It's just falling apart. So, look at it. Look at look at that. Crazy. So the fans get rid of your mold and your dust, your, your, your damp smells, but it does this to your house. Okay. So there's situations when you can use subfloor ventilation, but there's situations when you can't, and most of the time you shouldn't use it unless you have a major smell of of mold and moisture upstairs you know these these bricks are sagging in the wall they're not even sitting straight anymore okay it's a watch this the whole front of the house is like this every brick okay so just be careful when you get told things about subfloor ventilation because you know look how thick that is it's literally that's piled up against the wall there that's from the mortar right let's dig through it look how that all that is from 
all that's from your mortar. That's mortar that's turned to dust. Okay. Alright, so. The bricks are actually on a bit of a tilt, they tilt like that. So all the bricks, every brick tilts. Okay. And the piers seem to be alright, luckily. Maybe they're. The water stays uh, on the outside of the house a bit more than it doesn't drain through here. There's no evidence of water draining through the floor here. There's no water tracks or anything. So I assume the walls uh, just have gardens against them and they hold a lot of water. She probably fertilizes her lawn quite a bit of something as well. All right.